Hi. Welcome back all of you to the third session of the day in offline. So we are now completing the receipt accounting. We are now going to go into the cost accounting part. So in the receipt accounting, when we have an overview. <clears throat> so afterwards, what happens, we will now be creating. So the distribution creation, what happens, it will be dynamic action. <clears throat> There are one more thing also. I, I, you know, I attended this training in <laughs> Redwood Shores, California. Bob Ray is going like a what happens, like a bouncer actually. Fine, I couldn't understand this area at all. Fine, this area somehow or other I understood it, but this area I couldn't understand because it is an accounting training on the headquarters actually. Uh, when I was an Oracle employee, Bob Ray is very very difficult to understand actually. Fine, so much of a concept. And then uh, some or other I took a notes and then I, I what happens, I do it now. Fine. But uh, this is also there, fine. There are so many, if you go in this place, whatever, you'll not find a lot of other ways, fine. So the charge lane status, fine. Also the trade operations. This will now come once when you do what happens, the inter uh, BU, no, fine, inter BU. The trade operations will also come into picture, the info let actually. Fine. So there are so many things of that. So it is again a big topic. It is not a complete one, no, fine. You have to learn a lot actually on this. And then what they do is they will now go to the create receipt according distribution. And then while they are doing it, what happens? They will not say T01. Sorry. <clears throat> Cancel now. So they will not put T01. Then go tap. And then while submitting it, what happens? They will not go to the advanced. In the advanced, what happens? They will not schedule it actually. And, and then using a schedule, they will not wait. So depending upon it, what happens? I will not say hourly or minutely. So I will not say every one hour or every, what happens? Zero hours and 30 minutes to be scheduled actually. And then they will not give you end date now. So it will not keep on running. All the concurrence on the uh, on the accounting area will all run like this one. Right. So that if it is not accounted now, after 30 minutes, it will be accounted. On the next cycle, it will be getting out. Got it now? Right? That way it will run. And so sir, what are the right of you did for that we are going to uh, running this cost inside the cost inside? Or maybe, yeah, that is what I mean. They will again create the distribution and it will all be accounted actually. Okay. And I don't know how the write off will now get accounted. Fine, whether so that is all not known to me. Okay. That is uh, again a big process. Now, fine, there are some more accounting are involved. Now. So, again, what happens? Uh, what I gave you is just an intro only to receipt accounting reconciliation. But again, there are so many other things are also there. Fine, learn it from the financial section. So, we are now completed the receipt accounting reconciliation. We'll now go to the cost accounting. Fine, click on the home icon and then go there. I will now go to the cost accounting. I'm going to the cost accounting. We already push it to the costing area. Fine, whether I want. I will now go and then create the distribution for it. I will now go to this place. So it is now compiled. So the periods is open. Fine. Create cost accounting distribution for it. Click on cost accounting distribution. Go there. So what happens? We already have what happens? The run control available. You know, so click on search. They will be running the run control on a periodic basis for the what happens? For the month of January, for the month of February. Likewise, what happens? They will be running up to January end or up to February end. They will not. So, so now I am now putting it up November end. But the cutoff date is a very important one for the what happens the financial team. Up to the date, let's say now it's November. So up to August end, they will now do the distribution creation actually. So click on schedule process. So please uh, mute your mics if you're not spotting the screen. Team, no. <coughs> so Chandra, please mute your mic. Click on schedule process. So click on the schedule. Now the cost accounting distributions are getting created. Thank you for that. So click on it. For the cost accounting area, not much of activity is there. Only in the receipt accounting, you have plenty of activities of it. And somebody asked me if they don't know periods, in which period the imported journals will appear, I don't know. That is a question. And there are such questions are there. So that you have to only ask one day. So this is a big one now, and it will now run approximately for two minutes. So once it is completed, it will now go there and then look at the distribution. So here, what happens if you go on and see <clears throat> where the one? So here. Uh, in this place, in the receipt accounting, what happens? Uh, the receiving inspection has to be set actually. So this receiving inspection we set on the receipt accounting. Whereas this receipt receiving inspection we had to set on the cost accounting. This receiving inspection we had to set up on the cost accounting. And this is this receiving inspection is set on the receipt accounting. Fine, go that. Whereas this receiving inspection has to be set on the cost accounting. It has to be set on the cost accounting. So go that. We will not see whether it is already set or not. If it is not set, we have to set it up. So create cost accounting distribution more running. So once it is completed, we can now see the distributions getting created actually. And then while accounting it, if the receiving inspection is not set to the cost accounting, it will not throw an accounting error. So we don't have much of activity on the area, but uh, what happens? Uh, Tijil taught me on the intro transfers. How many accounts are going to be hit now? Bob Ray. 
it is a very big one now i will not show you the file which is given now to me <clears throat> for the intro transfers and that too it is not across bus it is in the same bu only right it is on the same bu i will tell you what how many accounts are going to be hit <clears throat> so go there i will not run as a search for it and then i will not put my number of my prc 10 dot spread is only fine to my search number so when i run the receipt credit accounting distribution fine so many sub processes are also running fine that's why so everything is now succeeded actually we will not go on then have a look at the distribution we will not go to the credit account distribution so search for it so click on save and close and will not review it now thank you very much now we will go to the place and will not click on the review what was it uh we'll not review the receipt accounting distribution review cost accounting distribution on the cost accounting distribution we can do that so item is what i will not say t0101 and then there is only one miscellaneous receipt has been made now the pivo is also got the thank you consortium we'll not show both them so one miscellaneous receipt and other so here what was the acquisition cost adjustment i don't know from where it has come now <laughs> oh god this i don't know is not combined acquisition cost reason is a pivot is it nothing on the pivot is it is not accounted actually so this has been finally accounted and that one will not go that one will not write account it in the purchase order is it fine on the purchase order is it the purchase order is it thank you 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 thank and that the receiving is going to be credited you know what is going on they can also see what happens the inventory valuation fine it's not showing only inventory valuation on the middle account finally because only inventory valuation coming so the uh, inventory valuation debited the receiving inspection is now credited so the receiving inspection credit. now we will not write account it and then if it is not giving error or not we'll see so we'll not go that point so the distribution is now created you know go that so now go on the create the accounting so click on create accounting so it is a cost accounting now fine so go that i will not go to the cost now the cost cost money the one the ledger is us primary ledger us primary ledger one the account i want to say summary detail or not post it also for the concept so we are not wait cost money so we'll wait for the concurrent to complete and then if it throws an error we have to set up the receipt accounting this also so credit accounting is not running <coughs> So it's not running now. So if everything is successful, then the import journal child will be running. In the previous case, we say that even if it is not successful, also it is running now. <laughs> I am also not very clear upon this. One. I was told only that only when there is no accounting error, then only what am I going to be importing it finally? Post sub journal process. Import journal child is done only when there is no error. So credit accounting is completed now. So that means what? it has now ended in the error actually credit accounting has got completed and then uh, what happens is the report is also coming fine that means what it has now ended up in error so go to the review account and then click on search now fine so it is now saying not accounted not accounted so in the purchase order what happens it will not throw an error thank you much in the purchase order you now say it will not throw an error so this area it has to throw an error <clears throat> in this on i don't know fine what is this acquisition cost adjustment fine that also has to be set i think probably acquisition cost you know from where it has come i don't know so now is that fine if you go to the general entries it will not show you the clear error general entry if you go there if you expand it and then see now you know go that you know go that you will not expand it and see the whole amount so is it no, sir. not coming the no, sir. inspection uh, tell me yeah no. now sir first two entries are showing account fully accounted as error accounting entries Final accounted is for the miscellaneous receipt now. Yeah, but it is showing error on the top of other two records. That is what this has ended in the error. Fine, that is what we are analyzing. Oh, so okay. this one is now showing an error. If you go there and then have a look at it, it says receiving inspection is not set properly. So receiving inspection we are now set up at what? Fine, receiving inspection the receipt re on the uh, what happens on the receipt accounting we are set it up, but not on the cost accounting. and we have to set up the receiving inspection of the cost feed to recycle where it is uh, in the shape nana this is on the cost accounting and this is on the receipt accounting okay now in the cost accounting i am going to set up now the 15th entry i am going to set up the receiving inspection the cost accounting so there is not there is what saying and is not set up so i'll go there 
அதெல்லாம் ஓப்பன் அப் ஒன் மோர் டேப் ரீஜன் ஆஃப் ஆண்ட் ஓப்பன் ஆட் அதெல்லாம் கொடுது ஒன் பாயிண்ட் ஓகே அதெல்லாம் கொடுது காஸ்ட் மோ சோ கொடுது இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு செட் அப் தி ரிசீவிங் அவுட் ஏட் கொடுது பர்சேசிங் அவுட் ஏட் கொடுது பர்சேசிங் சோ இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு செட் அப் திஸ் அக்கவுண்ட் அண்ட் தென் திஸ் அக்கவுண்ட் வி ஹேவ் டு குயரி பர்சேசிங் அண்ட் தென் கோ டு தி ரிசீட் அக்கவுண்ட் பர்சேசிங் ரிசீட் அக்கவுண்ட் ஐ வில் கேட் ஷோ யூ இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு டு தீஸ் டு அக்கவுண்ட்ஸ் தீஸ் டு அக்கவுண்ட்ஸ் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு செட் இட் வாட் யூ ஹேவ் டு டு இஸ் ஏட் கொடுது பர்சேசிங் you go to the procurement and then you go to the manage mapping sir and go to the manage percentage my map percentage set percentage and then choose what receipt accounting this one you had to choose you had to choose now in this case what happens given done i had to go to the what where, where i have to go now tell me i have to set up the receiving inspection or the cost management now right where i have to go now which one i have to go i had to go to the financials or procurement i had to go to the finance yeah manufacturing had to go. it is not financials or procurement i had to go to the manufacturing in the manufacturing you go there and then query right okay? manage percentage map percentage set percentage okay? so manage percentage map percentage set percentage okay? so you go there you go to the manufacturing and then set up okay? go to the cost management <laughs> go to the cost management and then here already the scope is selected i go to the manage mapping and here what about the long go on and query the receiving inspection now <laughs> previously we queried on the receiving area <laughs> now on the cost management area go to or you see so nana sir we have to we have to set up these accounts at two different places yeah yeah we have to set up the account in two different places at now and they can be different also the cost management and then one is the receiving inspection and the receipt manager receipt accounting in both the places we have to set up and they can be different also yeah 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 they will definitely be different actually i am not sure about whether they are different or not in that one i am not aware we know <laughs> it's a good question but i am not aware whether they have to be different or same Fine. that you talk to tejil now tejil will explain it to other guys so both you have to send up so both account i am not having a us one man. so it we should are be same account. only i think then because it, it has, has be to knock off right it has to knock off yes it must be same right mm. if it's a different account it will not knock off no it's a good good observation but again talk to tejil tejil will now give you a lot of idea on this it has be same only the what i also did so let me make it as a, what happens i will not go there i will not click on plus no find it not make one account find the account i will not make it it as can a, be it can be different because uh, it, it based on whether it is a centralized procurement or decentralized procurement oh ho 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 you saying that is a decentralized procurement may also be different find the what karuna is saying so yeah, decentralized yeah decentralized is is going to be probably same but uh, if it is centralized and if one business unit is buying for another business unit then there are a lot of intercompany transactions uh, inter uh, uh, all those things are generated correct so so that's that's why this is separated great great thank you please note down karuna's number now fine karuna can you put your uh, what happens a contact number on the what happens on the chat so that people can contact you in case of problem you know? Sure, I'm part of the Telegram. Yeah, yeah. You are part of Telegram, of course. Yeah, he is part of the Telegram. Yeah. You can very well uh, go on then and uh, what happens? Discuss with him whenever you are having. Right? Please note down his contact details on the Telegram. He is part of the Telegram. So T zero one one. I am not doing it. I am fine with that. Not. I am not doing it. So both that one. He is now saying if it is going to be across. Uh, what happens if it is going to be a, uh, something? What happens? They, they may even be different actually. <clears throat> That's what he is saying. Anyway. So click on it. I will not give a save and close. Not fine. Not done. go there we will not go to the review cost accounting distribution and then we will not again run it now we will go to the account data one so click on data one whatever you are learning is only basics basically man you have to learn a lot on this so go to space and go to the cost management <clears throat> go to space and then what is the us primary limit go to space and go to go to what and now go to what uh, summary detail detail will now give you a lot of information okay? now this time it should not give any error okay? now this time it has to import the journal also and i was conducting a training for one of the team and then uh, they wanted me to do the accounting for interoc transfers then i called tijil so tijil came and then told me about how many accounts will be hit i will not give you the document the document is already there now fine give me point this is a really a very tough one actually go <laughs> to the one now fine so oracle sim training and go to the what's called fusion inventory documentation here what are the ilma having uh, accounting entries for iot in transit so on the fusion inventory documentation we have accounting entries for iot in transit which has been given by tijil actually fine that was one he told that when you perform an iot transfer within the same bu fine it is not across bu so click on it this many accounts are getting hit now now go that one so you know say that what happens this is what happens the receipt accounting for the destination not is accounting entries for iot 
So it is a shipment reference and then this is the intraoc transfer. So this is the accounting entries, one for the intraoc payables and then one for the trade clearing. This is for destination R, this is for destination R and all the four are basically for destination R. And then this will be the accounting entries and then this is the thing and then accounting entries on the, on the cost accounting front, they are now using, this is the receipt accounting actually. This is for the receipt accounting and then for the cost accounting, these are the mapping sets which are involved now. These are the mapping sets and then these are the accounting entries actually. Is a trade in transit valuation, inventory valuation, and then intra receivables trade valuation. Fine. These are all the accounts which will be hit for IOT for the same BU now. Fine. This is the balance. Of the this is a really a very tough one. Now. <laughs> I couldn't understand this. Now. He says this and this gets knocked off, that and that gets knocked off. Fine. Like that. So these mapping sets, the trade in transit value to be set for both the source and destination, and then intra receivables for the source are trade clearing for the destination, fine. inventory valuation to be set for both the ops, fine. receiving inspection to be destination. Now. So this is the way it happens now. If it is going to be across BU, you have to again discuss it. And this will all be explained on Tijil's training. Anyway. And then remember, they normally create their own mapping set now. Right? These are all seeded mapping sets which are coming in the system actually. And then a financial team may not be working on the seeded one. Right? They may even create their own mapping set actually. So how to create a mapping set, how to do the setup of TAD, how to set up the do the tab, so tab, tab, TAD setups and then mapping setup, everything will be explained in this training actually. Because Tijil is basically a cost accounting. So he is taking care of the complete cost accounting for his company actually. So this is a big one. And accounting entries are IOT in transit. Again, that's why I'm saying that it's a very huge topic. It's not a very easy topic at all. Whatever I'm giving you is only a glimpse of what we know now. I will not go to the what want process. And then here, import journals might have run now. I don't want to see. The import journals made up of everything. So import journals has run now. Everything has succeeded. If you go to the receipt or anything like that, if you repeat whatever, the errors would have gone now. The error would have gone. Okay. Yeah. 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 So the error was gone. It got finally accounted. So this completes an intro into receipt accounting and cost accounting. So now, now the item cost get reflected in a yeah yeah item, yeah. item cost, cost be reflected. If you go to the say, fine, had been a different cost, it will be reflected. Fine. If you go to the review item cost, and you can now see the item cost coming up. Item whatever they must say starts with fine T zero one zero one, and then you have fine. You receive it in a different cost, the it will be getting average out. Now you see it has got average out actually <clears throat> because two hundred is written off now fine. So it is now written off. So it is no more two dollars. It's now one point nine zero four seven six. <clears throat> Okay. And then there is another method, fine. Right? One is a standard costing method, one is a first in, first out costing method, fine. Right? All of them will be taught by the lecture. So we are now given a I have given an intro into receipt accounting and cost accounting for average cost. <clears throat> now we'll now go for the next topic called complex POs. Now. Is there any questions on this one now, on the costing part? No, no, no. Good. No, you got a reasonable idea, now fine. That is what I want. You got a good idea about it. So inventory valuation, if you go there and then choose your BU, now fine. No, choose your BU. Nana sir, I just could understand understood one thing that uh, there are two account. different places where you have to set up the accounts. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, once we perform the receipt accounting, we also have to do receipt accounting separately and cost yeah, accounting yeah. separately. Exactly, exactly. <clears throat> so we have to set up accounts at two different places actually fine receipt accounting and cost accounting and then here is he on the intra transfers fine in this place i told you know fine so so much of accounting has to be set now not this one sir is there any reason why we are doing i mean let me not get into that question i know <laughs> I, this is a curiosity why are they doing at two different places so which, i don't i think somebody has answered also but yeah no idea at all the high level questions i cannot answer so the next topic is complex people <clears throat> Nana, one country. question, Tell me. Nana, small question. Yeah. So uh, we have done receipt accounting first, then we have done invoice accounting, yeah. then we went to uh, cost accounting, right? It can be in any order because all the concurrents are going to run every 15 minutes now. If okay. in this cycle it is not accounted, in the next cycle it will be accounted. Got it, Navai? Which is first, which is next, don't worry about it. After two, three hours, all of them will be accounted. Got it? Okay. So, there is no question of which is first, which is next sector. As long as you pushed it, that's it, fine. Forget about it. Fine. Even pushing is also automatic. They will not schedule it. So you so perform your inventory transactions and then forget everything. It will all get accounted actually. 
Now, sir, in our case, the what would be the final cost of this product? Is one point nine zero some something is came up, and there is a product. There is a product cost. Okay. okay. There is a product cost. Okay. So, which is first, which is next, and all you forget it. Right. It'll all run in this cycle. If it is not accounted, the next cycle will definitely be accounted. <clears throat> Okay, no, no. So, okay, fine. Yeah. Now, next topic is what complex PU. So, if you go and then pay the money to a what's called a, your uh, builder, actually. So, the builder will now say that I have now constructed the basement, actually. Fine. He will now ask for a payment of 20%. And then, once when the first floor is cleared, what happens? He will now ask for a payment of another 30%. Fine. Likewise, as and when he keeps on building it, what happens? He will now have to pay the installment payment. So, this comes under what happens a retain age and then what happens a release actually. So for the building activities, we can use this as well as let us say I have now given a renovation work to one of the one of the, one of the, one of the civil contractor actually. So he has to do the repainting and then he has to fix up all the doors and windows and then he has to what happens a, do the what happens the work on the toilets. So once when you do it, what happens we will now wait for six months and then see if the door is now again giving any problem or not. And then after six months' time, we are going to release whatever we are retained actually. So we will now say twenty thousand dollars is the uh, what happens the renovation work cost, and then we will now retain twenty percent of it. And then after some time, we will now release the retained actually. That's fine. This is where the complex PO comes in. <clears throat> so we will now begin the complex PO. So the first activity on the complex PO is what we go there and then set up this one. What is the setup and maintenance? <clears throat> and then we have to create a style actually. We will now click on it. You don't go to the search, no find over. You don't go to the place, find over. You can manage, find. It is a, what's called the style, find document style. So go there. I will now go on and create a style for this. Okay. I'm going to create a style. So click on plus, no find. Let me now create a style for this complex P1. So I will now say A01 underscore. What happens? I will now say uh, complex find style. So I'm now creating a complex style. So click on it. So take out of it. And then go there, click on the description. So click on it. And then it is normally amount based and then not quantity based, right? You cannot remove the quantity. So if it is going to be amount based, the PO will be two way PO. Fine. It will be a two way PO. Fine. It will be two way PO. Fine. Go there. Quantity. And then these two things are on for the what happens the consent terms. And then OSP will be taught in the manufacturing training. Yes. And then this is retain age. I'm going to enable it now. And there is one more concept called recruitment now. Fine. Recruitment has also come fine, but I don't know how to do it now. Fine. This one I don't know, and I'm not enabling it. The progressive payment fine. This is basically recruitment. I'm going to learn it. So once when I learn it, I will now enable to mention. This is a display. Now. I will now say A01. I will now say complex view. <clears throat> complex. I will now say retain age. Fine. That is how it is going to display now. And then go there. It's a blanket now. I will now say A01. Fine. I will now say BPA. Fine. I will now say retain age. So we can even make a BPA also. And then we can even make a CPA also. Otherwise, you will not disable it. So, no CPA. And then, if you don't want to make a BPA also, we can disable it also. Only, I'm not going to make only a standard view. So, only this one is only. So, complex retain age is the name of the PO actually. And then, it is now enabled now. So, retain age is enabled actually. You don't have to. Then go there. Click on save and close. My complex style is made. And then, the PO type is what? A01 complex retain is the PO type. And click on save and close. Now, let us now go and then create a PO for this. I will now go to the home account. I will now go to what? PO overview. And click on the PO overview. And then let me create what happens a complex PO. <coughs> so go there, click on it. So PO overview, I'm now clicking on it. I will now go to this placement, click on it. I will now go to this placement, click on create order. <coughs> and then drop down the style and then choose A01 complex. A01 complex written image. So A01 complex rate image. So the procurement below, I will not say it is a P01 BO. No, that's not. Like Supplier is what? ABC consulting. ABC consulting is one point. Supply side is coming fine. Everything is not coming fine. So click on create. I'm going to create it. So the location is also coming all around your fine. Click on create. I'm going to create it on this one. <clears throat> it does not go and then create it on this one now. Fine. Procurement view, acquisition view, and everything is coming. Go to this place and, go there, and then click on plus one. So here it is now going to be a two way PO, and then it is basically a description based now. <clears throat> I will now say A01 fine. Renovation. Renovation of what happens? 
of uh, of our what happens the residential complex so what is and it is the category based actually huh? so since it is description it has to be category based or not put a category go any time and then you choose the category so base price is what 20000 20000 for expense pay also it is category based na yeah yeah expense pay and then this one fine. there are three types of pos are there fine. one is the expense the destination pay and then this complex pay is also fixed prices and services and then uh, one more thing is what the normal pay also for the destination type as expense yes. so for that is 20000 rupees i go there i will not say we are now going to retain let us say 20% of this one so select it and then go to the schedule must be considered i will not introduce the retaining so the retaining is now otherwise through view columns we have to bring in now this field we have to bring in now i will not say it's 20% 20% and then here go down 20% is on sir what is retaining retaining i am going to retain 20% now fine he is now going to do a renovation of a residential complex so he is now charging 20000 rupees out of which 4000 i will not pay after 6 months only i will not pay after 6 months i will not check all the doors all the windows all the toilets if everything is okay i will now release that 20 4000 oh. got it that is what's called retaining that will come only when you enable that in the procurement uh, setup actually right otherwise no the document it. style enable it ah document style okay sorry yeah. the document style when i enable it that will be coming up coming okay so when uh, so my document sale is also having a document name fine by which is not correct i will not go to the schedule fine i will not give a date now fine click on it i will not edit it and then it will be a two way po remember it will not be received at all fine it will not be received at all it is a two way po so you know government everything fine so go there click on it i will not click on okay and then i will not validate the po i will go there click on it i will not take us 164558 is a retaining 55 what happens eight now fine Go there. So the new P one number. <clears throat> yes, fine. One six four five five eight is the number. That is the new P one number. I will not go there. Click on it. I will not take a copy. <clears throat> so click on it. I will go there. So click on save, and then I will now validate this one. Action. I will go to validate. So once when you validate it, what happens? The charge account and the variance account, accrual account. Uh, you must provide a value for the P one accrual variance and charge. Nothing is set actually. So it's all set, not set now actually. For this complex retainage, ah, <clears throat> uh, uh, it comes under what now? Fine. Uh, accrual, I understand now. Fine. Charge and variance, why is not coming? So click on it. So here the charge account will be basically since it is an expense one. Fine. Go there. So I have to specify the charge account. Now. Fine. Go to the lines region. Fine. Go to the lines region. And then I have to say who is the requester actually. Fine. Let us now set up the. What's called the value for this now? Thank you for it. I will have to check up, uh, put the requester's value actually. Fine, the requester's value. Thank you for that point. I will now. What about? I need an account actually. So what I do is, I will now go to the manager. Thank you for that point. So here, uh, I will now click on the now. Fine. I have just made one on this now. Thank you for that point. I will now. What about? You go to the PO now. Thank you for the PO. So I will now go to the PO overview <clears throat> because the requester's charge account will be the default account. Thank you for that point. I will not go to this place. No, I will not go to what manage orders. Fine. <clears throat> click on search. No, fine. Click on search. I will not remove the buyer name. No. This is the buyer name is okay. Click on search. No, fine. There are so many orders. No, one of them is basically a complex view actually. <clears throat> uh, uh, this is a close for everything. Is a different one. No, fine. Uh, this is the one. Thank you. I will not choose. The twenty thousand is one fine. So I will not take up this account, and then I will not put this account as a charge account for the one of the requested actually, because the charge account has to be very proper actually. I will not change it. So I will not go to the schedules. So I will go to the distribution. So I will not take up the charge account. So okay. And then here I will not click on the details. I will not take up the charge. Account. So this PO charge account because again some validations are there actually. Fine, I have to have the appropriate account. So once when I put this as a what's called this one now fine. I will not. Take up this one time. So it's the PO charge they count. So go there. I will not go to this one. I will not say it's the PO charge they count. This one now. And then we have an accrual account also. You can see all the way accrual account at the BU level. Now, fine. Accrual account at the BU level. So I will not choose up this account. So this account. So these things has to be said. Then only what happens? The PO will not give any problem. 
And remember, the charge account gets copied into what happens here? Variance also, right? Because it is an expense PO, and the, the charge account gets copied into variance also. Ah. One can only copy it. I know I did manually. So it's what? 101. One so this is the accrual account. So I will now set up what happens to these accounts. What I will now right click and then duplicate it. So I have not taken the accounts over there. I will now say PRC 15 is a guy who is not doing it now. Thank you, Mark. So what is this? On a PO variance account is not required. This is what I charge account will be the variance account for a description based purchase. If you go there, if you click on this invoice, not to the long video was called. If you go there, you can now see that charge account is a variance account actually. These two are same. If it is going to be uh, a fixed prices and services. Right. So charge account will automatically become the variance account. Got it? Okay. Okay. I have not go to the space. I have not go to the what? I will not say PRC 15 now. Fine, I will not go there. I will not set up this. Video. So, where is the uh, what's called? It is not coming at all in this place. <laughs> we don't have anything at all. Fine. So, let me go and then log in as what? FA is 01. Now, fine. Oh, God, it is not there at all. So, in FA is 01 also. Now. Do you know anybody? Uh, what is the HRMS uh, login now? HRMS login will be having what? Human resource special section. So go that one. I will not add the role now. That one. I will not go to what? <coughs> it's called tools. You, you can log in from my ID. I have created one. Okay, fine. Yeah. What is your login now? Fine. Is this one now? Fine. Yes, LL. No, no, it is RT1 under uh, dot one second, one second, one second. EMP1. Very good, very good. So uh, who is this? Rajesh. Rajesh has not done it. Fine. So he has not done it. Fine. He is not having it. So let us not use the town now. Fine. Very good. So I will now go there. So let me open up one more tab again. I will now open up what were all the ones which I don't need. This is a required method. So let me close it. I will now set up this. So we have to close this. So many tab regions are now open. Now. So close it. Close it. I have to go to what? I will now minimize it. And then I will now go to what? And go to space and click on it. I will now log out and then I will now go to what this one now. And Rajesh So tell me your username. Uh, RT1.EMP. Okay. EMP1. Uh, okay. 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 Welcome123. EMP1. Then afterwards, oh, password is welcome123. Yeah. yeah. Password is welcome123. So he has now set up the what I mean, the receiving inspection account also. Or rather, the client. I will not see this now. So it's not coming fine with that. So my client group is coming fine with that. I will now go to the oh. personal management and then I will now set up the PRC 15 now. I will now set up the PRC and click on save. So I'm now going to set up for the PRC 15 actually. So the name is what? The student, comma, PRC 15. Fine. For which I will now set up the expense account. I will now click on search and find. I will now set up the expense account. PRC 15. So click on it. Now click on this and PRC 15. He is the requester actually. I'm not going to set up that. Uh, what happens? Your uh, expense account for this. So now bring it to the edit mode. Thank you. Drop down. And then drop down. Oh, God. <clears throat> drop down. I will now click on the update. Now. Thank you. Update. And then action is what? Assignment change. And click on OK. Now. now I'm not going to give the expense account for the PRC 15. Go there. And we'll now go on the directly to the expense account. So this will now get populated on the PO, and then since the, the, those accounts are okay, it will not give any problem at all. So I'll not go there. So I'll not go down, go down. And then what is the expense information? We already have one expense information, right? But I don't know whether this is correct or not, right? So, zero five. so let us now see an working expense account is there. Now find where. So six zero five four zero five. Let us now take a copy of it because if that expense account gives a problem, that will be difficult, now, right? Because some cross validation, this thing, that thing will be coming. Find where. So this is a working one, and so I'm choosing this. One. Is not enough. The default expense account for PR15 is now there. I will now go there. So click on save and then click on review and then click on save. Save. <clears throat> click on review now. I click on review. And then review it. Click on review. Save, review, and submit. Save, review, and then submit are the three activities you have to do one after the other. No, fine. We should not save and submit. Remember, save, review, and then submit. That is the sequence in which you have to work on the person management. 
no other go save review and then submit or the three ways you are doing right? if you skip anything or even it will not give error we will not come back to this area fine come on we'll come back here and then accrual account also we had to set up right? expense accrual for the business unit as we said fine come on i will not take off it will not go to this place and then set up the expense accrual now we'll go to this place i don't know go to one other map right? so click on done and click on done i will not set up the expense accrual account for the business unit fine come on i will not go to this setup and made a minus we had to set up right? So here I have to go to the purchasing accounting. I will not go to the purchasing accounting procurement. Go to the procurement, and then you go to the management section. Management percentage, map percentage, set percentage. So management section of purchasing accounting. So not the receipt accounting, but the procurement accounting. So I will not go to the purchasing accounting. So not the receipt accounting, but the procurement transaction account. Previously we have said the receipt accounting. I will not go to the management section of procurement transaction account. So go there. Click on the management section of entry accounting. Click on management section of entry accounting. Click on the 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 And then I am not going to go for expense accrual. No, fine. It is already coming in the top actually. The expense accrual of the business. Okay. I will not set it. The expense accrual account I will set it. So take note. I will not click on what plus. No, fine. There is no plus at all. Fine. Use chart of accounts only. I do it. Fine. And the use chart of accounts only. I do it. Select it. And then for this one, I will not add it. Fine. Let me add it. So click on plus. No, fine. I will not set up this account. This account. I will not set as a default. Set as a default. So this account will be for all the BUs basically. So this account is a valid account. That is why I copied it and then made it as a default. Got it? Anybody has got any doubt? So this expense accrual has been made as a default. Okay. So click on save and close. It is all done now. Fine. We will now make a new PO now. Fine. Click on. We will now make a new PO. We will now go to the placement. Get it done. I will now cancel this and I will now make a new PO. So let us now make a new PO. So cancel. This time it will not show any accounting problem. Because we are now copied from an existing one of them, and then do it. So click on the create order, <coughs> and then go there. So procurement we use what P zero one. So the business unit also one. Supplier is what ABC Consulting. We want to choose the ABC Consulting. I want to go there. Everything is coming. So style of PO will be purchase order or be oh, different? Oh no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I made a mistake. Now when you can cancel, there is a wrong one. Thank you. The style is be A zero one purchase order. Thank you. Go to this place and click on the create order. And if you make a mistake, please immediately point out to me. Now, fine, drop it down. I will not say A zero one. I will not say it's uh, what are the concept. It is not an MBA. It's a complex retain. Complex retain is fine. Go to point. I will not choose this one. Fine, go to point. I will not choose it. Fine. Supplier is what ABC Consulting. I will not choose the one. Go to point. So click on create now. If you are putting some other account, then if there is any problem, it will not give error. That is why I have not taken up from one of the working one. Now, fine, go to point. So click on plus now. <clears throat> so go to this place. Fine. I will now say renovation. Renovation of what happens? Uh, flat complex. And then here, what I am going to do is I will now what happens? The requester. Who is the requester name? Anybody? Student dot. Come on. PRC ten. No. PRC fifteen. Exactly. PRC fifteen. Now fine. That is where we have set up everything, okay? So it is a student dot prc fifteen. So that is the one, the prc fifteen we are putting. Okay? This is a request like that. Category yeah. name we are not given. Yeah, category name I am not given. Okay. The miscellaneous, okay? Click on miscellaneous. I am not putting in the miscellaneous. Hello. So click on the schedule, okay? Click on schedule. So you know what I can do here? Hello, hello, please. If you are not talking to me, my other class, please mute your mics. Okay? So the base price is what twenty thousand. So twenty thousand is the base price. I will not go to the schedule. I will not go to the schedule. I will not go to the schedule. Schedule. I will not go to the schedule. So go to the schedule, and then I will not say the date. <clears throat> so go there. So I need it today. Itself. So give a save now. This time it should not give any error at all. Thank you, sir. Upon saving, the schedule. Yes, sir. All the retained rent is this way. Retained rent should this way, right? One second. Retained days for twenty percent. Not fine. Yeah. Yeah. Not fine. You are not specified. Oh, oh! I am not specifically done. I will not go there and specifically read it. So go to the so read it. I am not specifically. So twenty percent. I am going to specify. So go there. Click on it. So I now go there. Click on save. Now find go there. If you go to the distribution, you will not find the distribution. If you go to the distribution, it is not safe. Click on the distributions, and then you will not find what happens with this one. Click on it. So the accounting I am not taken from one of the working PO. No. So now I will not give it. Back. So go there. This is what is fine. The charge account, variance account, and then the accrual account are all. Got it. 
so that is why otherwise what happen there will be some cross validation rules this thing that thing some of them may not work at all <laughs> it will all be given by the finance or no no it all. so click on okay now i will not go to what manage approvals okay click on manage approvals so go there 165164560 is the one now thank you so 164 <clears throat> go there so uh, us 164 164 डॉक्यूमेंट बीन अप्रूव Now we will now go to the payables and then we will now create an invoice for it. We are going to go to the payables. So it will now take some time for the approval to take place. Now, thank you very much. It is automatic. So we will now go to the payables. We will now go to the payables. Click on payables. So go there. So here, what happens? We go there, and then I will now go to the invoices, <coughs> and then I will now create an invoice for it. I will now go to the create invoice. Click on create invoice. I will now go to create invoice. So let me take a copy of this. Now, I will now go there. So it's what I will take copy with me. We have to wait for some time. I will not go there. So click on paste. Yeah, it's come. That means what it will not be. You must define a retainage account in the manage common options for payables and procurement. Right? That is not done. Not fine. We are not given a retainage account. It's so not coming. Thank you, brother. So retainage account has to be kept. Not fine, brother. So I will not go to the setup and maintenance. I will go there. Right? Manage common options and things. Not fine, brother. Now click on search. Now I will say. Manage percentage fine, common percentage fine, options fine for the payables. I am going to go to the manage common options for payables and procurement. I am going to go there. So three zero one the one point two five. So where is the retain agent? Is there any retain agent? Yes. See the top right side. Top right side. Top right side. No. Miscellaneous freight retain agent is there. <laughs> What account I will show? So I like, give the same account and see whether it works or not. Fine, brother. If it doesn't work, we'll not see. Fine. Retain age, I'm not giving it. Retain age, I'm not giving it. So click on save and close because they're all liability account. Fine. Click on save and close. We'll not see whether it now accepting it. We'll now go on. Then this time we'll now go on and create invoice. So we'll now go to the payables and then we'll now create invoice. Come on. So retain age account. Fine. Click on it. We'll now go to this place. We'll now go to the create invoice and then we'll now paste this. So we'll now go there. So we will not take a copy of this PO number. I will not identify it. It has to fill up everything. Okay, fine. You must fill in. Okay, fine. It is not sensed actually. Fine. We have to log out and log in. We are given it. Fine. So we have to log out and log in for the system to sense this. Not true. The change has to be sensed only when you log out and log in. So click on it. Now logging in. <coughs> So go to the payables, my friend. Go to the payables. Let's talk about it. We will go to the payables, and then you go to the invoice, and then we will not create an invoice, my friend. Click on it. We will not click on create invoice. So create invoice. So go to this place. We will not identify that. So click on it. Everything is coming fine. I will now say seven thousand one is the number. Seven thousand one is the number. Then go there. I will now put twenty thousand as the amount. Twenty thousand is the amount. I will now obtain the distribution. That is two and one may match the invoice and obtain distribution. Click on match. So one will do it. One will select it. So the total available amount is coming as twenty thousand. Let me apply. I will now apply. So go there. Is it twenty thousand? Fine. It is not a quantity based. It is only amount based. So the entire twenty thousand is not done. Is there anywhere four thousand is coming? Fine. Do not come here. So click on. So Nama, do you do you want to define any timeline for this retainage? No, timeline cannot be defined here. Okay. The retainage, no timeline can be defined in the system actually. The system cannot be defined. So click on okay. So now. If you give a save somewhere, the retainage will be coming. Thank you for saving. So twenty thousand. We are now going to pay only sixteen thousand for this. No, thank you for it. So go there. So let us now try to validate and then see whether the retainage is coming or not. 
there's no that so and since the location is not having any tax so no question going to that so i'll now go to the invoice actions and then go to validate one and click on validate upon validate 7001 has to come on you know upon validate it is validated actually you know that so it is on 20000 where to see this retain income the retain age will be coming somewhere else now i given the retain age and so on i'll now go to the distribution and see if i can put the distribution so how is it distribution no distribution will yeah, happen yeah 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 it is there see 20000 is there so what am i saying it is now validated also so 20000 minus 4000 is a retain age actually you know this is validated so the net payable is only 16000 actually in the distribution is now clearly saying that retain age is 4000 So once when you make a payment, you will not make a payment only for sixteen thousand and not for twenty thousand. Where it is showing sixteen <laughs> thousand? That is what I wanted to know. <laughs> no, where it is showing as sixteen thousand? No, why? Amount is showing as but retain age is four thousand. It has to show somewhere as sixteen thousand, na? Huh? I don't know where it was showing. Anybody? Can you check the totals uh, downside there? Mm, the bottom, na? You are saying. Down. Anyway, down. it's understood, right? Whatever. Yeah, yeah, it is showing. Due is only sixteen thousand. It's not showing your claim. In the bottom, it says a due of only sixteen thousand. The retain is four thousand. Fine, very correct. Now we will now make a payment for this seven thousand one number. Fine, we are going to make a payment for this one. So it is not done. Fine, it is not showing a retain is a four thousand, and then due is only sixteen thousand on this invoice. Fine, you got it. Seven thousand on this invoice. Fine, that save and close. No, it is not validated. Fine, that we are not going to make a payment for this. No, thank you. I will not go that to one. Seven close. Let me make a payment first. So I will not go to the go to the board bench now. Thank you, Mark. I will not go to the place. I will not go to the payment. I will not click on the payments. Thank you, Mark. So let us now make a payment first. So click on create payment. Click on it. Seven thousand one is the invoice number. I know that. So click on create payment. I will not go to create payment. So go there. Business unit is for T zero one. Then give it up. So T zero one is the business unit. I will not give it up. Supplier is what ABC Consulting. Right, ABC Consulting, and then supplier side, it will go down and drop it. The record discount doesn't exist, but doesn't matter. Okay, it's a big one. And then this person bank account. So on which bank account? So the vision has got nothing is there actually. That is person because for this business unit we are not specifically doing it. We are not creating any bank account. That is why it is not coming. Otherwise, whatever the BU level, what happens? We have to create a bank account and do it now. Fine, do that. So once when you do it, what happens? Bank account is legal. It's a mandatory, right? It's a mandatory one now. Fine. This person bank account is a mandatory. No, no, sir. In 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 this uh, fusion, bank accounts would be at legal entity level or BU level. We'll do one thing. We'll not create a bank account. Fine. Do not. We'll not go there. Okay. I, I'm not very sure about how to do it now. Fine. Do that. Come on, cancel now. Fine. We'll not create a bank account. So click on yes now. Fine. Do that. Click on yes now. Create payment is there. Thing. I now go to this place and then I will now create a bank account. Go to this area and maintenance. So click on it. So click on search. Click on search. I will now say manage percentage bank account. Bank account. Bank account. Manage bank accounts. Let me make a bank account. Can I click on plus now? Can I go to make a bank account? So bank branch, I will now say drop it down. Ah, bank branch. In the drop down you can select a search menu. Something you can select. I can select anything. Ah, yeah, okay. I will now say T zero one. I will now say account. Account number. I will now say T zero one one two three four five. Currency is US dollars. Legal entity name is what? Is a US one. So that one. US one legal entity name. So account type is what I will not say checking is a currency. No sir, you have chosen you uh, currency. Euro. Currency is euro. Oh, oh, oh. you have put dollars. Yeah. US dollars. Yeah. It's not done. It's not done. And then uh, go there. Click on save at this stage. No, fine. I will not enable it for payables. No, fine. Let me enable it for payables. No, fine. The bank account is not enabled for payables. Fine. We need to have a branch account also. No, fine. You must get a, at least one business unit access to the bank. No, fine. Mean. So I will not go and then. The give business in fourth tab. Yeah, business unit access. I will not go that one. I will not click on personal. I will not give access to it. So go that. Is that T zero one? Do it up. No done. So go that. So exchange rate variance and gains and losses not coming. Ah, uh, I will not give okay. No point. Click on it. It's okay. Fine. Click on it. <laughs> give us save. No point. No. So uh, bank branches zero zero one. Marge. Fine. Do that one. 
Yeah, no, take a copy of the account. Yeah. No, no, sir. Cash accounts would be required actually. I mean, the checking mm -hmm. NOC, fine with that. I will not see this one. So I will not take a copy of it. Fine. It's a branch name, not fine. Branch name not required. Uh, you want to select the bank account. So click on it. Is that branch name now? Yeah. Branch name. So we'll now see whether this is sufficient or not. So click on save and close now. Fine. Click on save. It's now enabled for payables. Something click on save and close. Keep the screen. Uh, you can use the yeah. Uh, this screen. <laughs> yeah. I will not go that. Click on it. I will not keep this uh, managed bank accounts as such. Now fine. Go to this place. I will not go to this place and then I will not do something. <clears throat> I will not go to the payables and then click on the payments now. Let me create a payment now. So go there, click on it. I will not go there. Click on it. Create payment. I'm going to make it now. So create payment. I'm going to make it. So business unit is what? P01. I will not choose the business unit. Supplier of party. I will not say it's like ABC consulting. <clears throat> so click on it. What is this? I don't understand. Click on okay. It's all public. So disbursement Mac on fine. Go there, click on it. You know, see whether it's not coming or not. Fine. Come on, it's came now. Fine. Very good. Came. Whether everything is coming. Payment process profile. I will not drop it down when choose it. I will not say uh, check now. Fine. External check. Fine. External check. And then the payment document number. Once when you give the payment document number, the plus symbol will be coming away now. Fine. Oh, it is not coming at all. So for external check, what happens? It will not be defined. Payment process profile. Mm. So, is there any simple one now? Standard check. I will not use the standard check now. Fine. Standard check. We go there. Payment document is coming on. So, click on search. Payment document. How to set it up now? Ah. Payment document. This payment process profile is now giving you the payment document also. Yeah, now that I, okay. I think you have to attach a payment document to your uh, bank also. Oh, the bank. Yes, you have to attach a payment document to the bank. Huh? Yeah. yeah your what bank is the task name now? What is the task name for this now? Here only you edit, Nana. In this place, there is no, no. payment document or anything like that. So, account name, account name is T01. You input the account name. Nana. Then click on it. Okay, select it. And then click on edit now. <clears throat> Go to this place. Enable the payables. From Go to general controls. General. General. Yeah. Goes there. Go to the end. Go to the bottom. Payment oh, document, document is there. Ah, here you can. Uh, so go there. Payment document. I will not say T zero one. Pay doc. I will not put it. Now. So format. I will not do that. Click on it. I will not say standard check. You have to select here. Standard check. No fine. Click on search. No fine. I will not search this. Standard check sign to search. Standard check form of time to be no done. Go there. So number sort of thing. So checkbooks is not required. No, this much is uh, not a category. I will not say check. No. These are not so, okay. okay. So we will not give okay now. Click on it. Yeah, okay. Click on okay. So here, first available document number. I will not say uh, uh, no, no, no. You just type uh, Hundred to ten, something, yeah. Eight thousand, eight thousand one is the bank account. Okay. No, no. Last Don't number. Go back now. Okay. Get payment. I will not click on search. No, thank you. On search. Mm -hmm. So here, the payment process profile is what standard. I will not put no thank you. Standard check format is the one. No thank you. So click on search. No thank you. I will not go to the standard. No thank you. S P A N D. So click on search. Standard check format is the one. Standard check. All currencies is open. Okay. And then you know, drop down the payment. I mean, come on, come on, come on, come, come, come. This is still not coming now. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you have to set the payment process profile. That is different activity, Nana. Oh, oh, oh. If it is a standard check, I thought that it did not know. So it's still not coming. Payment process down. <laughs> no, I payment thought of process profile. Coming. Uh, payment process profile separate activity you have to do. Oh, 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 oh. Another payment process profile actually ask for the uh, particular business unit. So that's the reason it is not. So what are the task name for the payment process profile? Should be ah, should be same. same. Should be uh, process yeah, profile. Same yeah, same name. Manage payment, payment process. process. Payment, payment yeah. Process. Yes. Manage Prof. payment process profile. Yeah. Payment process profile. Click on create. Thank you. We can create our own. 
So click on it. So I will now say T01 fine payment. I will now say payment process. We are going to see profile. We are going to get profile. I will now put this as what code. I will take out the code. So description is the same thing. So payment file format. You now drop it down. Uh, also standard check you have to select. Standard check. So standard check. I click on search. No, click on search. I will now put the channel check format. Uh, processing type is what? Uh, electronic or printed, no? Whatever it is. I will now say printed is okay. No? Printed, printed, no, sir. Printed. Okay. Default payment document. I will now say uh, check format. No? Which one I had to choose? No? Yeah, 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 check. I will now check BOFA. And check BOFA is okay, fine. Send to printer is okay, fine. Send to file. Okay, order is okay. Order. Yes, yes, that is okay. So go to this place, fine. Right? Click on save now. No, sir. You have to a default it. payment document. You must enter a yeah, usage yeah. rule specifying that bank account. Yes. Only that bank account. Fine. Right? Where, that one? Where to send it? Fine. It's okay, no, no, sir. It's okay. You don't have to do that. It's fine. No, but uh, but you don't have to set up something. So yeah, go to the payment yeah. system. No, fine. Click on the payment system. You have to do so, the payment. Default yeah. payment document. You must enter a usage rule and hmm. payment document. Where is it? Default payment document is what this one. It has to be having this no fine. That can be blank, no, no. Default payment this document. Can be blank. Leave it blank. Yeah, it can be blank. Leave it blank. So leave it blank. No, no. So click on save now. An application error occurred. Oh God. No, sir. There are other tabs where you have to enter the values. Uh, I think payment tab. Payment format we usually apply here in this section. Default payment format, standard check format in this place. Na? This place where yeah here here it comes a payment file like payment file mm -hmm. accounting no. like drop it down it's okay that is not required no, no not required mm -hmm. group group by business unit let me put numbers. go to usage rules uh where the usage no 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 first tab first tab first tab usage group, usage group is, that is not required group by business unit not required Specify it, but if you like to, there is a specified so button. Guess save in the beginning. There is what I'm saying. Click on save and close. And application error is up. I will now again go inside and do it. I will cancel okay? because something has now happened on this I'm not working on it. So click on plus. Okay? I will now quickly do it. Okay? Click on plus. I will now give the name here. I will now put the code here. T01. And then the payment is your standard check format. Click okay? on search. Okay? Is already there, no? Standard, already there. standard check format. So we want to payment process type is what I will now say uh, printed no and then give a save at this stage. You want see that. ah your payment process has been saved now. Yeah, finish. Yeah. You now go back to this place now and get on it. I will now click on search now and now see whether anything is coming. Click on search. Come no, on. in the payment process, standard, standard check, you have to change it. No, it has come. It has come. It has come. Now the plus symbol has come. So no, eight of the document fine with that. No plus you symbol. have to take oh. your profile also. You have to take your it profile. Matter. Fine. It is now coming. Fine. Click on the plus symbol. Oh, okay. so click on the plus symbol and then 7001 is the invoice. We'll now go there and then we'll now make a payment. 7001. 7000 is for 16,000. Fine. Click on apply. And then uh, click on OK. Click on OK. It is not done now. So click on seven close by which what happened? The payment of eight thousand one is now made. Fine, click on seven close. The payment of eight thousand is now made. Eight thousand one or sixteen thousand is now made. Now after some time we want to release it actually. So the payment of what happened? Sixty thousand has been created actually. Now we want to release the payment after some, three months or four months time. So now at this time what we will do is we will now go and then create an invoice again. We'll now go to this place. I will now go to the playlist and then click on the invoice. So click on the invoice and then I will not create an invoice. I will not create an invoice. Let us not create an invoice. So go there. I will not identify the same PO. But now, sir, is this 16,000 16, payment is not done against that invoice? Yeah, it is already done. 8,001 is a payment number. It is already done. Now. So I will not take a copy. Yeah. So no, it is there. done against that purchase order, right? Retaining yeah, purchase yeah order. against this purchase order. It is already done. Now. No, it is going go to the retainage amount. Retainage amount. Yeah. 
Now, retainage okay. amount I'm going to release now. So here, type is not standard. No, 8002, I'm not going to. 8002, I'm going to make it. Type is not standard, but it is a retainage release. Mm -hmm. So 8002, I'm going to release it now. After some three months or six months, I'm not going to release it. Thank you. So click on it. Retainage release now. So here, what happens? You do drop down and then again choose what? Release retainage by invoice lines. And then make a search. 8000. For the same PO, fine. And then the retainage release and then click on go now. What is this? Fine. Release amount due net tax. I will not say 4000. Or I can even pay less also. I can even pay less also. Not the entire 4000. Fine. The amount is 4000. So go that moment. Release amount net of tax. So go that moment. I will not go on what happens. Click on the matching now. Fine. Click on match. And then I'm going to obtain the release now. Fine. So it's not done. Fine. Select it. And then it shows against the invoice number 7000. 4000 is retained. And then how much you want to release now? Fine. You can even release less also if you want. So if the work is satisfactory, we will not release the entire release now. Fine. Click on release. So I'm going to make a release. Now. I'm not releasing it. Go there. Click on it. So it's all done now. Fine. Go there. So I will not go there. And then I will not make 8002 is a retainage release actor. So go there. Click on save. Click on save. You're not saving it now. I will not go to the invoice actions are not valid. Now. Click on validate. I will not go to validate. So I'm going to validate. So it is now validated. So 8002, I'm now going to make a payment. Got it? Same and close, and then I will now make a payment for 8002. I'm not going to place. You will not go to this place. I will not go to the payment. I will not go to the payments. And then go to the payments. So 8002 invoice, I'm going to make a payment. I will not create a payment. So I will not click on create payment. I will not make a payment. So the business unit is what? T01. <coughs> So T01 business unit supplier is what ABC Consulting, ABC Consulting and the supply side everything is coming. <clears throat> if not giving a message, ignore the message. Fine, go that. So here disbursement Mac account. Fine, go that. Account, drop it down. And then we are now seeing T01 account. Go that, account. Payment method is going to payment cost is a standard check format. Standard. And then give it app number. Standard check format. And click on it. Give a standard check format. And click on it. So, it's not coming, fine, go there. so the payment document is already made. No, fine, no, that's not going to come up. So the moment I put it, the plus symbol will be coming. In this one, we can now see the 8002 coming up for payment actually. So it's not done. 8002 is not coming up. The payment document number is 8002. So uh, what are the invoice number? Fine, come on. That's 8002. No, it's 6001. Come on. Where is the, my this thing? My invoice is not shown here at all. So the payment document number is coming. That is 8002. But what is my invoice number I made now? Anybody remember it? It is not coming in this place at all. If you click on it, what happens? It does come. Invoice number also you gave 8002 only. No, no, sir. Was it validated? No, sir. Was the invoice validated? No, a number also I gave is 8002. Only. Payment document number is 8002. Invoice number is also 8002. We will not go on and make a check. No, no, sir. Is the invoice validated? I think I validated it. We will not go there. We will not go to the invoice again. And then how will it go to the payable? So we will go to the invoice. Now, thank you for the invoice. The invoice number is also 8,000. No? I, mean, <laughs> I made it. I will not go to the manage invoices. And then query for the invoice number. No? Invoice number is what? 8,002. I gave it now. Thank you. So click on search. No search for it. So this is the invoice. No? 4,000 in the invoice. No? It is validated actually. You just click it. Uh, click it open. No, no? no, no sir. It is asking approval. Oh. You're saying approval is yeah, click, yeah. click it, click it open. I'll open it up. Thank you. It needs an approval. Thank you. I'll now open it up. Thank you. It's now saying approval required. Why the approval is required actually? Go to the actions and then here approval. I will now force approval. Fine. There's a force, force approval. approval. Yes. So click on the force approval and now approving it. Fine. The action is not applicable for the invoice in its current state. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> so go to the actions and then go to edit mode. Now fine. Click on edit mode. In the edit mode now, fine, go that. So go to the invoice actions and then you click on the approval. Withdraw. I will not withdraw it. Click on withdraw. So let me withdraw Maybe it. We do initiate from the action is not applicable for the invoice in its current state, actually. So it needs an approval. Come on, how come the approval has come into picture now? Fine. Original invoice was not having it, but retainage release needs an approval, it looks so. So if you go to the actions and then what happens? You go to the approval. And then initiate the approval. Find how to see where it has gone. Now. Approve. I will not click on the approval. Now. Find click on approval. I will not click on approval. I will not see whether it gets approved or not. So the connection is now lost. 
but then the connection is lost now. What is the connection is not applicable on the current so uh I will not whatever we go there click click on the approve now. I will not click on approve now and click on approve. The action is not applicable. Come on, yeah. Try to initiate. Initiate, okay. Fine. Approval and then initiate the approval. I click on initiate. Now initiate the approval. So the approval is now initiated now. Uh, in the bell icon, you can see, no? Oh, okay. He himself will be getting an information. So five minutes no. ago, fine. Payment is now in status of what? Payment. There is a different. No, no, no. Not this one. No. So there are a longer time of dismiss, dismiss, dismiss. Yesterday, yesterday, no. Nothing is basically applicable. Then, right? So to whom it has gone, how to see it now, fine. It is initiated. I will now force okay. you Click on approve. I will not do the force approval. No, no, now uh, on force approval. You have that view approval Nana? notification history. Can you just check in that? View approval. Nana, now. View approval then. Yeah, yeah, it's there after in the yeah. photo. Approval. Uh, where is the view approval? It's there next to oh. approval. Approval. Yes, next view approval, approval and notification. Yeah. You can click on the view approval notification history. Mm -hmm. See where it has gone. When invoice approval initiated. PRC 10 dot student only. The approval is only the same one now. So he is the approver actually. And click on it. We will now see on the bill. So click on it. On the bill notification whether he is getting it or not. Fine. Purchase order is yesterday actually. Why it does not come to him at all? He is the approver actually. So that means what? It is an automatic approval only. Fine. So it is an automatic approval. Okay, so maybe now uh, you try to force approval. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> it must have got approved, I think. Fine. We will not go to the force approval. It must have got approved also. It must have got approved also. The action is not applicable. So we will now go there and then try to make a payment now. Fine. Right. We'll now give a payment now. Fine. Right. So go back to comment. We'll now, where is the payment now? Fine. Oh God. I will now close the screen now. Fine. So click on it. We will now make a payment from the other screen now. Fine. Click on this one now. So this is the one on which we will now make a payment now. Fine. Click on it. So click on it. We will now go to the payment. Now. Payable payment. So it is a self approval, and then by the time I create it, it must have got approved. That is what I feel now. I click on the create payment. Business unit is what? P01. From the invoice only, you can make the payment. From there itself, you can make a payment. Right? Yeah. Go to the invoice, actions. Invoice actions, and then pay in full. No? Um, pay in full. So click on pay in full. Now see whether you can make a payment. The invoice must be approved. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it is not approved at all. So not at approved. Uh, okay. Maybe you save and close it now. Save and close. Save and close. It was approved the invoice number. Now uh, go uh, here. Lines uh, holds an approval is there. Lisa Jones. It is gone to Lisa Jones now for approval. Where where where? Ah, uh, in the assigned to you can see. Lisa Jones. Okay okay. It has not gone to Lisa Jones. It has gone to Lisa Jones. That's okay man. So I will now log in as Lizard Jones now. Fine, that mark. Go to Lizard Jones, and then I will now upload. Click on it. I will take away from that. So I will now go to this place. Fine, that click on close. Now, fine, I will now log in as Lizard Jones. Fine, that. So click on it. So go to the sign out. Now, fine, click on sign out. So click on confirm now. Click on confirm. And then I will now change it to what? First, I need to know Lizard Jones uh, is ready, Nana. No, it is Lisa Jones. Fine. I know the Lisa Jones. J O N U S. So the password is same. Fine. Click on sign in now. Oh God. Uh, what is the password? Lisa dot J O N U S. I will now have to find out the password from this number. Minimize it. I will now go to the Telegram. E S L L is the password. And take the password. Go to this Do the password. Click on sign in now. Lisa Jones. I am signing in now. <clears throat> we'll now see if it is approved, then we'll wait actually. So click on it. So click on the bell icon <clears throat> and then approval of invoice and so fine. Click on approve. I will not click on approve. So directly I'm approving it now. It is approved. Invoice 8002 approved. So it is now So I will now go there. Click on it. I will now come back to the screen now. Fine. Click on it. Now go back here. So we will now initiate the approval from here itself. Yeah, you close the uh, same invoice close the requiry, no? uh, the requiry and the uh, invoice actions, you can make the payment. Okay.
I'll now click on search, now find click on search. <laughs> and then click on the hyperlink of the invoice and that will now make a payment. Good actions and then go to what? I will now say approve is already done. Okay? I will now bring it to edit mode. Edit mode, invoice action painful. Click on painful. This time it has to go to the payment process profile. Now as everything is coming, fine, that. So bank account, fine, payment process profile will now go there. Standard check. Standard check format. No? So I will now say it's a standard check format. Standard check format. Standard check. Go there. Uh, payment document and T01. The T01 is the payment document. So, electronic. Everything is coming. Fine. Go there. Click on submit. This much is submit. Yes. Click on submit. So, by which, what happens there? This 8002 payment document will be done now. Thank you. So, the payment has been created now. You will now log in with the suppliers, log in and see whether it is all paid or not. Thank you. Now that, I click on save and close now. Man. I will now log in with the supplier now. Thank you. Man. I will now go to this place. Man. Let me log in with the supplier now. Thank you. Man. So, click on sign out now. Let me log in with the supplier. Is a John dot about is a supplier name. J O H N dot E B B O B D. John dot about the name. I will now log in with the supplier. We will now go to the supplier. Uh, what am I say? Supplier portal actually. We will now go to the supply portal and then have a look at it. We will now go to the supply portal. Go to the supply portal and then have a look at about the payment of the invoice. Manage orders. I will now take a copy of the order number. That is the order number. This is the order number. So I will not take a copy of it. So I will not query for the order number. I go to the manage order number. So go there. So the order number is this now. Go and then click on search now. Now see how much has been paid to you. So click on that. It will not show on this one. So on the suppliers, I am not saying it. Right. Click on the hyperlink of it now. Right. So click on the hyperlink of it. On the right hand side, the business intelligence will not show you how much has been invoiced and then how much has been paid actually. So it is not saying close for invoicing actually. So retainage is this much, retainage release this this much. Ordered and invoice, fine. Everything is not showing you on the suppliers now. Fine. Click on the view details. Retainage is also released actually. Click on the view details. So here it is not showing you on a graphical form. Fine. 20k is not paid actually. Fine. Invoiced, and then this is ordered, and then this is invoiced. Now fine. Everything is not coming. Ordered, invoice, retainage, and retainage is released. Where is the payment one? Fine. Receipts is not showing you. Invoice is 7001. And then next invoice is 8002, isn't it? That is not shown here. Retainage and then retainage is released, is only shown here. How to see the payment one now? Thank you, the receipt shown. So if you click on the mm -hmm. 7001, thank you, it. I, will <clears throat> I will now go to the payments now. Thank you, it. I will now click on the hyperlink of it now. Thank you, it. I will now see whether any payment information is not shown here. And the payments is there. Thank you, the payments. I will now go to the payments of it now. Thank you, it. I will now say 8001. And then 8002 also has to come. It is not showing only 16,000 as the payment one, but the next invoice number of 8002 is not visible here at all. Oh, God. So, in the suppliers, what happens? We have to see the 8001. 7001 is not shown here. 8002 is not shown here. Invoice number. But how much no, is. No, in, our, in our login, uh, PO, you cannot say PO cycle. PO cycle we can see now. That is also the PO cycle will long go on and see. <laughs> you know, go to the PO cycle, fine. Go to the PO view. There you can see. <laughs> yeah, good RD now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Go to the manage orders. Order number is there. This one. So Click on search, my friend. On search, I will now click on the hyperlink of it. You will now see the life cycle actually. So go there. It is only showing ordered and invoice. Then click on the view details, it is also showing the same thing. Only <laughs> 7001 is only shown, 8002 is not shown at all. <laughs> How much of payment he has made? No, same in the same invoice, it is showing retainage, retainage release. Right? Paid is 16,000 only now. Mm. What is the 4,000? I have to have the 8,000 invoice also. Can we check the view section, sir? View? Where is it? Under the receipts. Uh... Under the receipts, fine. No, no, no. This is a physical receipt actually. It doesn't have anything. It is a physical receipt. Right? There is no physical receipt. Conference. Only on the invoice, it has to be. Actions. No, no. 
here only it is showing uh, retainage and retainage released it is showing no? but released has got a document of 8002 as an invoice number no? fine that is not shown here at all mm. paid, paid is shown 16000 huh? paid paid amount is 16000 why well, again 7001 16000 is paid but again the 8002 invoice number you have paid 4000 now that is not come <coughs> that is not showing here <coughs> maybe somewhere maybe you should click on that red uh, graph sir retainage click on it <coughs> if you click on it what happens is not is not clickable actually <coughs> you don't not clickable actually okay we are done at least uh, to a certain extent fine we are released the payment actually everything is done but unfortunately we are unable to see the total payment being made on this. Okay. In the menu, there is a view payment option. You may be able to see there. View payment option. Where is the one? On the right, that uh, on the uh, down here. This place. Yeah. <laughs> Come down. It is all for administration. It is on the purchasing side. No? Click on that. <coughs> you are unable to see it. How much has been paid? It has to show. Close for invoicing is okay. But not showing me anywhere how much has been paid actually. Only in the view details it has to show. Okay, somewhere somebody make an R&D and then tell us fine. This is the only part which is not missing on this not fine. Part that we are not completed. So you got a good idea about the complex view, isn't it fine? So if you understood the complex view, can you put a green tick now? If the complex PO process is understood, fine. Great. So you understood the complex PO process, fine. So some or other we made it and then <laughs> we completed it actually. <laughs> so tomorrow we are going to begin the next uh, pillar now, fine. And then uh, two things are missing or uh, pending on this now, fine. One is what? PO import. And then one is what? Your rapid implementation. I will now, tomorrow after I complete the second pillar, I will not take up those two topics. Nana question. So why why do we do complex PO? Just because the PO is raised once and we can create multiple invoice and payment from the same PO, right? That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mainly because what happens if we want to retain certain amount, he is a okay. builder and then he has mm -hmm. been doing a renovation job. We want to see how good the job is. We will now observe it for three months and then afterwards we will now release the payment. Release the retaining agent. That is the idea. So, Nana sir, can we have retainage like multi parts, uh, like part of the? Yeah, payment? yeah. There, there is one thing called recoupment now. Fine, that is also there. Okay. Recoupment it is okay. a multi part actually. Fine, there are so many things are there, but I am to learn that. Fine. Once when I learn. But in the in the retainage, Nana sir, in the retainage schedule when we were creating for this purchase order, can we have uh, create two different lines to say? Maybe, maybe. Fine, you try this. Okay. One. Okay. Uh, you can also make multiple things also. You try this. Yes. Okay, Nana. Thank you. Good night. Good night, all of you. And then we'll not meet tomorrow at 5 p.m. And then we'll now begin the second pillar. That is self-service procurement. Yes, Bye for now. I hope that this session was interesting for you. <laughs> Tell me. Do you yeah. give training for Oracle? Huh? Do you give training for Oracle Fusion Manufacturing? No, no, no. Manufacturing, I don't do. Only Tijil will be giving it now. Tijil is the expert on manufacturing as well as costing. Yeah, can you give the contact info of uh, that the person? Everything is there in the group now, fine. You click on Tijil, you'll know a name, it'll not come now. You find out in Telegram. Telegram, he has now communicated many times now. Right? Yeah, thank you, sir, for your information. Bye for now. Next next yeah. session will be manufacturing, sir. Costing is over today. So uh -huh. we'll next session is manufacturing. Okay, Sripati yeah. is saying that he is going to announce the manufacturing session very soon. Yeah, he's, uh, he told uh, he's uh, uh, stuck in uh, some important tasks. So maybe uh -huh. next week he's starting manufacturing. So uh, okay. whoever he inquired, I think he has inquired yeah. it, right? Andalia, one, you will be announcing in the group actually, man, once when the program is going to begin. Hope Thank you, my man. sessions are interesting for you. Fine. Yes, Do you sir. like it? Fine. Yes, like sir. It. <laughs> Bye for now. And then we'll meet tomorrow at 5 p.m. Bye-bye. Okay? Thank you, Nana, sir. Bye-bye.